Hello everybody, it's random. I'm doing a new video thing. Hooray and yay and hooray and yeah. Sorry. I want to thank Roldy for that intro music because it's awesome. He's awesome. I'm kind of awesome to a very small minority and you're all awesome. That guy over there is pretty awesome. That girl over there with the low cut top and the blonde hair, you're pretty awesome. And that guy over there eating the chicken wings with the green t-shirt, I fucking love you, man. Keep eating those goddamn chicken wings. And I can see you all, by the way, because I know how to break the fourth wall. I've already broken through it. I can see you. Anyway, uh, a couple of things before we get started. Uh, number one, yes, I did see the new Blackbuster Critic video. And at this point, guys, I am just beyond caring. It's like, sure, dude. Keep screaming from as many car parks as you can find. Keep screaming that you're doing this for our own good and you're our savior, our... Holy Sovereign and the Champion of the People, and maybe you and all these other fucking clueless twats will get a life one day, and maybe realize that it's just a video game. There are more important things to deal with in life. That being said, I'm definitely going to be picking up UMVC3. None of you turds are going to change my mind about that, considering that apparently there's more content along the way. Before we move on to that subject, I want to just point something out. I really think it's unfair to blame an entire company for one development team's decision. Did the people working on the new Devil May Cry cancel Mega Man Legends 3? No. Did the people working on Resident Evil 6 decide to bring out UMVC 3? No. So in theory, what you should really be saying is, fuck um, Mitsuma, not Capcom. Hey, I mean, I'm not trying to put words in your mouth, I'm just giving you my perspective here. Moving on, uh, number two. Yes, I do know about the Jetsons and the Captain Planet movies in production. Couldn't give a flying barrel of monkeys all having a fuck. Because, let's face it, MJ Knight probably isn't going to watch those movies, and again, he has less of a life than I do, so... He's flipping me off as we speak. Love you too. Mwah! Fuck you! Yeah, maybe later. Anyway. You. <laughs> That's one nil to me. And what else is coming out? I mean, there's Ghost Rider 2, apparently. Oh, Hollywood, you make me smile. And Battleship, apparently, is getting a movie. Holy shit! Rihanna in her first acting role. He's looking at me stunned. Yeah, seriously, Battleship, go look it up. Battleship is getting a movie. I'd rather go drink. See, this is just proves what a stupid whore Rihanna really is. It's like, oh, Battleship, that sounds like fun. <laughs> Megan Fox of the future. Anyway, moving on to the main subject. I've pissed enough of you off already, so let's just get this started. Now, you're probably looking at the title of this video, and you're maybe a bit confused. You're probably thinking, what the fuck is this about? I thought he hated this series, and I thought he's Mr. I hate anime, and I'm apparently the anti-Japanese person, according to some faggots, but... You know, I did do an ERC on DBZ, but to tell you the truth, guys, I mean, I've started watching it again. You know, opinions change. People change. I mean, I mean, hell, there was a point in my life when I thought Big Al and Darkness were pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, let's not elaborate any further on that. Anyway, yeah, I recently got back into DBZ. I mean... I just happened to see a video on YouTube. I mean, I think the main channel that got me back into it was I was watching some videos by a channel called I'm a Vegeta. <laughs> that shit makes me laugh. <laughs> Seriously, go and look at that channel. It is funny shit. And so I just started watching it again and kind of by accident, I actually stumbled across Dragon Ball Z abridged. So I guess I got to take back... Um, I, you're hearing it here first. I take back some of the things I said about a bridge series because I started watching that and I laughed my ass off. Yeah, you heard it from me. I honestly think Dragon Ball Z a bridge is funny. Vegeta is so damn funny. Yeah, Vegeta is pretty cool. Now, now while you're all checking the thermostats in hell, let's just get back to the um, main point here. So, you know, I started watching a lot of DBZ stuff again. The Bridge series, I'm a Vegeta. I even got around to watching some of the movies. I mean, Super Android 13 is okay. Uh, the Broly movies are fucking awful. Ugh. Coolers was okay. But I haven't seen the second one yet. But, I, of course, you know, all things being Dragon Ball Z, I got around to watching Dragon Ball Z Kai. Which is kind of like the Slim Fast DBZ, to put it that way. Now, this is probably not an accurate thing, but, you know, do correct me if I'm wrong here. But it kind of went like this. You had Dragon Ball Z, the original release. The Dragon Ball Z, the American release, which was just American voice actors and an American music. And then you got Dragon Ball Z, which was the same shit again, but the American voice actors and the Japanese soundtrack. And then DBZ Uncut, which was American voice actors, Japanese soundtrack, and all the gory bits put back in. And then it was like another uncut version or extended version on DVD. And now we've got Kai. 
Now, pretty much what Kai does is... I mean, anybody knows about Dragon Ball Z? Dragon Ball Z is notorious for having too much shit going on for no reason. I mean, Freezer's infamous five minutes, for example. That is the longest fucking five minutes I've ever seen in my life. So, you know, what, what they've done is they've stripped it down. Because the cartoon was being made around the same time the comic book was still in production. And I know what I'm going to hear for it. People are going to be telling me, but it's a manga and an anime. Hey, I grew up on Western culture. It's a cartoon and a comic book as far as I'm concerned. Thank you and fuck off. Can you go through a video where you're not pissing someone off? Well, I'm trying, darling. I'm trying. Thank you. Moving on. So, and naturally, a lot of filler was put into DBZ. I mean, things like Marin, Garlic Jr., and all this other stupid shit. So what they did was, with this... For this version of DBZ, because it's like one of their anniversaries this year, or is it last year? I think it's 25th. But, well, well, he's saying 25th, but again, you can correct us if we're wrong. So what they did was they decided to re-release the series. Again. I mean... The filler taken out. Yeah, it's ba that's basically, to nutshell it, it's the same series, but all the filler taking out. But for whatever reason, it just stops at the Cell Saga. Or Cell Games, I mean, because that, that, I mean, each saga is broken down into little mini sagas and whatnot. Well, to be fair, the Cell Saga is actually a good way to end it all, because you yeah. get the, the Boo Saga. Yeah. I, mean, when I, think, I, I think you said earlier, Akira Toriyama was yeah. running out of I, ideas. Now, the problem is, like, because originally, because it's something that um, Indispensable P guy told me, it's that it should have ended with the Freezer Saga, but there was such a demand for more DBZ, so Akira was like, Akira, Akira, how you pronounce it, whatever. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not big on Japanese, so. Yeah. He he wrote some more, and to be honest, the Cell Saga is my favorite. I mean, Cell is one of those really kick-ass villains, even though he is a bit of a glorified villain, Sue, because you know I have all your powers, LOL, and just yeah, Super Scrolls okay though. And but when he got to Margin Boot, when I first saw that character design, I think the first thing I said was, "Wow, he's just not trying anymore." <laughs> and you can tell by looking at him, it's like this guy just doesn't give a fuck. It's like, I'll just draw. I mean, I was waiting for like if it carried on for a few more sagas. I wouldn't be surprised if Winnie the Pooh showed up. But on to the um, Kai itself. Now, did I enjoy it? Yeah, I did. I mean, it's good to sort of see the series, I guess, the way it was meant to be seen, with all this stupid shit taken out. Although, to be fair, I did enjoy the Garlic Jr. saga. It was a nice little, like, vampire-ish zombie thing, and that was kind of cool. It's just, and it's a shame that it kind of stopped, because I was hoping it covered the whole thing. Because I'm not sure if the Boo saga is filler, or it was just made up for the TV show, so someone correct me on that, because I'm sure you're all more um, Saiyan savvy, for lack of a better term there. But yeah, I mean, it's not exactly a new show, really. I mean, we, I mean, let's face it, it's not a new show. It's the same old show, but what they've done is they've gone over some of the old animation cells in Flash. And you can really spot it at times when Goku turns into a Super Saiyan for the first time. Some of the lines look really crap, where they just painted over it, but... The reason for that was, rather than just redraw the whole thing again, they couldn't find any of the old animation cells. So they just cut it over it. My thing would have been, why not just redraw the whole damn thing? Make it look more fresh, make it look more modern. You know, kind of, you see you see the intro of DBZ Kai, and you think, hey, that looks pretty cool. And then it gets the actual show, it's like, hey, I've seen this already. It's like those TV series that they, come, they bring out a new intro, but when you watch it, it's just... Like, 80s animation quality. I, mean, I know DBZ came out in the 90s, but you get my point. Uh, what else can I say about it? DVDs probably coming in a couple of weeks. He's buying it, not me. I mean, I can't be asked about DVDs now. Well, because let's face it, he fucking buys them all before I can get a chance. He's grinning as we speak, so... Yeah. That's about it, really. I mean, I enjoy it because... I don't know why. Maybe I'm just going to get back into things I used to hate. Who knows? Maybe I'll get back into Gundam Wing or something. Or maybe I'll watch Power Rangers again. Who knows? At this point, I wouldn't say I'm an uber DBZ fan. I'm more of a like case of I'm just going to watch it if I've got nothing better to do. Still prefer the Ocean dub because that's what I'm used to. You know what I mean? I'm sorry. A Cell is a Funimation voice. just gay. Hey, you like Barry Medellin. Shut up, Cell. But that's it. I've rambled long enough. And... I'm going to leave you with a stupid sound file that I created years ago that I just happened to find. Because it shows you how little a life I really have. Rat, 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 rat,